All right, it's time for the third part of uh, Costa Rica. This is going to actually take place um, next few days. Just because everything is short, I didn't record everything, but let's get to it. All right, the first thing we saw on our day walk was this great carousel. Um, a large bird that um, kind of eats mostly fruits and sometimes arthropods, but... Uh, just really cool. This is a male. Mm -hmm. The first herp of the day was this Branford's little frog. A uh, really small species that um, usually hides on the leaf litter. So if you kick around the leaf litter, you see them hopping around. But uh, yeah, lifer and the first herp. And of course, we need to see a uh, a Met Atlantic uh, broad-headed little frog. This is a smaller one and a lot grayer um, than the yellow ones. Then we got our first diurnal snake, a front cut Um Was out and about before his rain hit, and I was able to take some pictures, which was a pain in the butt. Just really squirmy, um, but I let it go and. Yeah, super excited for my first diurnal species of the trip. Alright, I wasn't paying attention, but this is supposed to show a hemorrhoidal But anyway, uh, the next herp is a red whip tree frog um, up in, in higher vegetation, a larger specimen, but really cool. Oh, oh no. And then we got this common rain frog. Um, this specimen shows the species without the mid dorsal stripe. Um, usually they, they it's kind of half half. They have the mid dorsal stripe or they do not. So yeah. And of course, everyone's favorite, the crowned tree frog. This is the first specimen. This is probably the smallest one that we saw. Um, they usually are a lot larger than the ones that we saw besides the juveniles from the first vlog. But yeah, really cool. And then a common blindhead tree snake. Uh, probably out and about looking for sleeping on knolls. Um, this is the last thing we saw the night before. And it was one of the... It was the first snake of the night. So, um, it's like we just start where we left off the night before. But... Really cool just to watch the sky move about looking for lizards and take advantage of easy prey at sleeping. And then out of blue, this coral snake slid right in front of us in the pathway and into the leaf litter. Um, I is something I was hoping the conditions were perfect. It rained during the day. There was no reason for not seeing one, and we did. And then we get another uh, crown tree frog shortly after, and look at that crown. Dear Jesus. It's just... I haven't lost for words. And then we got a dwarf glass frog. Part, definitely the most common glass frog that we saw, and it's the only species that we saw multiple in individuals. Um, but yeah. Cool. Then we got our first caiman, caiman, uh, spectacle caiman. This is actually my first caiman species, um, ever seen in the wild. So I was pretty static. I love crocodilians. Um, and this will make it my fourth species seen in the wild. Um, so I'm getting up there. Then we saw my first green basquist. We saw the common basilisk, which um, we, we have in Florida, but this is my first green. Um, and it was near the, on the branches near the water's edge for an escape route. And then I wasn't too sh I can't remember what this was. I'm pretty sure it was just a small red web frog, tree frog. Um, you know, I am pretty 90% sure that's what it is. I just sort of cut track and then we got my life for tawny tree frog 
You can tell it's a different uh, frog from the mask because it doesn't have that mask uh, behind, band uh, behind the eye. But really cool. And of course, we got to see our most common uh, lithobates, the valiance frog. It was just in the middle of the stream, kind of where there's more sand. It was almost on the surface. Um, but yeah, it was just hanging out in the middle of the stream until uh, shortly after this video, it decided to take off. So cool. And then sleep on its branch. It's a new knoll species. It's a slender knoll. Also a knoll called a border knoll. But yeah. And then, then we head off to our second location um, the next morning. The first herp that we saw in the second location is actually a non-native species, house gecko, ha common house gecko, I mean Dactylus fanatus. We actually have these in Florida, but they're not as common because where they are in Florida, they are pretty much outpeed by tropical house geckos. But yeah, um, here's several of them that night, just hanging out near the light, waiting for insects to come by so they can catch some easy prey. And then I got this adolescent um, giant toad right here. It would not sit still for pictures at all. I was lucky to get one. And then we got uh, some more common frogs, um, common rain frogs. This is another individual. You can see that mid dorsal stripe. And then we got another caiman. This caiman was not afraid of people. Um, I'm pretty sure... Um, People have been feeding it, same kind of behavior as alligators, you know, they're supposed to be scared of people. Then I got this um, savage, Savage's Bullfrog. Um, they're actually, I believe they have this poison on them, so a lot of prayers won't uh, take them besides a, a few. Here's another Bransford little frog. Um, again, in the little uh, leaf litter. Uh, just, I think we accidentally uh, kicked it and that's why we found it, but oh well. And here's a ground knoll. Uh, again, another common species of uh, herp that was seen in, while we were in Costa Rica. I mean, they were everywhere down in the ground. And then we got a West Forest frog. Uh, I meant frog toad, I meant. You can tell it's a West Forest toad and not part of the uh, like giant toad because the paratoid gland is not that huge like it is with the giant toad. And then we got our strawberry dark frog, of course. Um, it was a great sight. It, I think it was been a couple nights since we see one last. I haven't been videotaping as many as I should. But I videotaped this one since it's just been a while. And then we got another ground knoll. Um, but I, 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 I I'm not taking the photos. I barely even took this video. But yeah, cool. And then my next Cragastor species, the Telrans um, rubber frog. This is the only individual that we saw during the trip. So um, I'm glad that we went to spot for the species. So yeah. And 
And during the day, we saw these king vultures. Um, the second location was a big burger spot, so everyone's here for this king, these king vultures, and I can see why they're so popular. Just absolutely beautiful. They have a beautiful coloration on the head, um, and yeah, I'm glad I got a saw one. And then this is a color Arakari. Um, it's just another toucan. I decided to videotape. You saw the kill build um, toucan earlier. This is another species that uh, calls Costa Rica home. And then I decided to go looking for turtles. I haven't seen a troll yet, and we got this black wood turtle. These are the only species of turtles that we saw in the whole trip, and my first turtle of 2023. So I was pretty ecstatic. This is the first one, and then we got another one, um, short like a short walk um, down the lake. We saw another one. But yeah, these are the only turtles, and I'm glad they were. And then that night, absolutely sucked. Uh, we only got this one frog. Honestly, I almost didn't put it on it uh, in this vlog um, just because it's bad footage. I can't even tell what it is, but that's it. So I'll see you next time.